My name is April Reeser and I'm the Warranty Manager with XBite Technologies. Welcome to our demonstration of the XBite Services Warranty Portal. For over 20 years, XBite Technologies has been delivering extraordinary experiences and helping our customers expand their IT infrastructure. We have seen tremendous growth in recent years, all while working with our customers to enhance our product lines and service offerings. One of the ways we offer support is through XBite Service Assist. This is our maintenance and support program that allows you to keep your current equipment supported and running after the OEM warranty ends. XBite Service Assist offers flexible support solutions that can be customized. Expert engineers leverage with AI to give fast responses to support requests. A large stock of replacement parts strategically located for quick turnaround and reduced downtime and one single asset management portal for a simplified view of renewal dates, contracts, and support requests. You can log into the portal from our website under services and support. Once a contract is set up, we send you an invite letter to join the portal where you set up your login information. Once you're logged in, you will see the XBite Services Warranty dashboard. On the dashboard, your contracts, assets, tickets, and locations of those assets will be listed. Also listed is a visual representation of your contracts and assets by support and dates. Selecting the contract menu will take you to a listing of your contracts. This screen shows you the type of equipment you have, the end date of your support contract, and will highlight it if it has expired or will be expiring soon. You can also export this list to a worksheet if needed. For details on the exact assets covered, Select the assets from the dashboard. This screen will show you a little more detail of the equipment covered, like the serial number or service tag, the model of the equipment, whether it's a server or a switch or a storage array or another piece of IT equipment, the SLA on the asset, such as a nine to five help desk with next business day replacement parts, and also when the contract expired and is no longer covered by support. All of this detail can also be export if needed. The location option from the dashboard will show you the locations of where your multiple service tags might be located. This is helpful if you're uh, managing multiple servers and in different locations in different data centers, etc. One important part to note on the dashboard is this contracts and asset status icons. These highlight current and expired contracts by days until expired. It will highlight those assets expiring within 90, 60, and 30 days to allow you to plan for renewals or the refresh of equipment. Our warranty portal is the device that we use for customers to submit ticket requests for support, a failed drive, a failed memory, an error light, any of those types of issues that might come up with your equipment. This area on the dashboard tells you how many tickets are currently open and what the status is of them currently. So now we'll move on to how to actually submit a ticket for support. There are two options. One is the menu from the dashboard on the left-hand side. It drops down and you can click on the bell icon that says tickets, or you can go from the contract screen or the asset screen um, and select the same bell icon for that specific service tag or asset that you need support on. Once you select the service tag that needs to have support ticket submitted and you've clicked on the bell icon, this screen will come up that shows uh, basically a fill-in um, option for you. It will list the server, the SLA that that server has, and the coverage on it. And then all you need to do is fill out subject line for the new ticket, which could be a very brief overview of what's happening. For example, a failed hard drive, memory error, red light, uh, any of those types of signals to let the warranty team know that that's what the issue is. The next screen down, the next box down is describe the issue. These are required fields, it's noted by the asterisks. And here you would say exactly what you're seeing, um, getting this error message from this drive port, um, any, any specific information that you can provide is always helpful. So describing the issue in detail. Then if you needed to add technical contacts other than yourself um, or someone else on the IT admin team, and you want to send um, emails to other people on that team, you can add their email addresses and their names there. You can also update the phone number to where it is the person that you want to be the one handling this ticket. If you have any TSR logs or error logs, 
this is where you can upload them um, to the ticket also. And again, all the information that can be provided is very helpful for um, quick service on your asset. So once a ticket is submitted, it will show up under all active tickets, which again would be visible through the dashboard or the menu on the left hand side under the bell icon that says tickets and then a list would show up in any status, whether it's pending, uh, awaiting information or parts have been ordered. All of that information would be available through this dashboard. Well, thank you for joining us on this demonstration of our services warranty support portal. Um, Servicist offers a lot of benefits to keep your IT infrastructure running smoothly. It supports you with high-level engineers, flexible SLAs, customizable contracts to allow you to co-term your assets so that maybe all of your equipment has one end date on warranty. Um, could be helpful for a planned refresh down the line. And the portal provides, again, a simple view of your assets to make your IT easy. Again, thank you for joining us on this demonstration of our portal. Um, if you would like more information about XByte Services or XByte Technologies, please visit our website at xbyte.com.